pulling rounds apart. This is 200 and some odd thousand miles. Now the oil control ring is seized together. You should be able to just pull it, separate it. All kinds of nasty crap in there. Push the bushings out, put new bushings in, clean the pistons up, get the rings off and get them all the way clean. And as we get these clean, they'll transfer over there. As I get the bushings done, they'll transfer over there. This is kind of a dirty area. We'll call that the clean area. And yeah, we got another day of this. So we'll tear all these apart and get them clean. Let's do it. There they are. All the rings are off. Now we'll take this over and wire brush it just like we did. Frank's old ones that we were gonna use. So let's go around and clean all these up, give them pretty good inspection. That's how we press them out. Oh, if I can get it off of here. Got my little holes. The dimples marked for when I press the new bushing in, then I'll run over there and I'll drill the holes all the way through the whole bushing. But I had it in there, so I went ahead, just did it, but we're gonna pull all of them out. Eight more to do. Seven. Right now, that is ready to drill. So now, since I've got that countersunk, I'll go ahead and drill all the way through and then we'll size it and then I'll get the sides off and then we'll check one. But right now I know the bushings are going in, so let's just get to it, clean them all up. Shouldn't really take that long. Man, that is so consistent. Second one in a row, just a little bit right there. All right, here, just stay with us. Let's. So I'll take this, spray a little bit of it right on my freaking leg, clean it out. And then where the hole is, what I found is that you press it from this side, the hole away from you, and it tends to go in a lot better. So now we'll open up another bushing, get this all cleaned out. I'll put a little drop of Loctite right there, just one little bitty drop and then smear it around. Honestly, more for lubricant, actually. I mean, the Loctite, it's good lubricant when it's wet. Now I'll put this on here. Get it lined up nice and, of course, now that you're watching, I won't be able to get it in there. Right there. Goes all the way in. Set that right there. And then this one, put a little drop right on the brake. Julie already brake cleaned it all off and got rid of anything that's on the outside. So they just got locked tight. And then I'll put the joint if you look at it, some of them actually appear to have a bigger bevel on one side than the other. So I will put that bevel to go in. So we're gonna flip it this way. And then I'm gonna put the brake off to the side on this side right here. And then I pick it up just like this, take my little tool, flip it over and real lightly just to get it started. Okay, right there. Now, flip that over, put that on, take this out, flip it, put it on there, go in here, put that in there, and then put the two little, wa actually, I have this that I actually made to do, but two washers work just as good. Just throw a couple of washers under it, put it under here, and then when you do this, you have to kind of do it with a little authority. Don't BS around. Just, once you get it to go in, just go. You go ahead and BS around and, and then you'll wind up with it galling like son of a gun. There, you just watched it. Make sure that you've got just a little bit of reveal on both sides so that it's sunk. And look at that. That is beautiful. Five more times. Pop some holes in it. There, we'll size these, then uh, shoot, we'll be ready to check them. So here they are, all drilled. We got the first one over there ready to go. And I'm hungry, we're gonna eat. 
see we got the, the rings all set up. We are going to test the protrusion on our bushing install with the old rings. Because I am going to ball hone that a little bit more too. And we're going to, we might just go ahead and put all of, put the whole engine together, put all of them in. Because we can just do it all in one quick shot since we have the whole set of bearings. We only did it to the other, the Franks, because we only had two old set of bearings. I didn't want to put those other nasty ones in, so. They don't look too bad. Ring lands need a lot of work. I'm gonna have to sit here for, well, I'm gonna have to sit here and clean ring lands for just about the same amount of time that I'm gonna sit over there and hone them freaking rod bushings. So I'm going to eat. All right, well, Julie's not in here, but I started doing both rods at the same time. Both of them, how they're gonna be on. And yeah, it's, I don't know how far we are, but I have all of these still to do. And then I got the ring lance clean. So I got, who knows how long? Uh, it is, I don't know what time it is. 12.30. Okay, it's 12.30, it's noon on Saturday. Let's get it done. to the next step the rods are all done bushings are in got them sized they're good to go pistons have been cleaned nothing has been weight matched though and i haven't cleaned the ring lands out so i got the dirty stuff done i got freaking oil all over me from the from the honer but at least i'm done with all that now the honer can be covered up we're hopefully done with this whole job i'll know once I put the wrist pin in and see if it goes in like that one did. Just as long as they all go in nice and smooth like that, then we actually can cover the hone because it's kind of nice to have it right there. Because if we have one, even a piston or anything that has a little anything on it, bam, we can go right over there and clean it up. Love it. These are all the old rings and we are going to go ahead and use these rings to test the protrusion for where the bushings are. Because if it is still 20s, 25 and 26, then that's going to allow us to cut off this block. Yeah. So, oh, that's a good moment right there. Time to eat. All right, that was messy. I had to go change my freaking clothes. I was, that uh, honing oil is nasty. It was all down my freaking, I was, was covered. All right, so uh, where the heck are we? Weight matching. Ron's rotating assembly. Uh, yeah, right freaking there. There we go. Let's do this. You know, I guess you could do this without an ultrasonic cleaner, but it's not gonna be as good as it. I'm gonna loosen these up a little bit and then we're gonna put them in there. And, I mean, these ring lands, I'd like them to be new. You know, not any carbon down inside of there, so. This is gonna take a minute. We're just gonna bounce them in and out of the ultrasonic. It'll saw because there's a bunch on that top ridge right up there. You can feel it. So I'm just gonna try to uh, get it in the ultrasonic and let it soak in there for a little bit, a couple of minutes, and we're gonna just alternate between them. I can almost get down through the carbon down in the top ring. But five minutes in the ultrasonic, take it back out and do this again. And you keep doing that, eventually we'll see what they look like. And just like that. Uh, they should be good. Give it one last check before I actually put the rings on, but yeah, buddy. Uh, they're kind of clean. So now let's start weighing. There's our numbers. 
I would say the Molly, Mall, whatever you want to call it, is way better at the Pistons they send out. Nowadays, when we get them in a box, generally they're better. Look at this, 589, well, 599. 589, 579, and 569. So I'll take the heaviest piston with the lightest rod, or the heaviest piston with the lightest wrist pin. Once again, let's keep going. Now that is always a good sign right there. Actually, when by heaviest to lightest, I erase all the numbers and then start all over and measure them together. And those two are the same. The two lightest are the same. That's awesome. All right, I got all my numbers here. We got 587 is the heaviest and we got to take it to 557. So we got to take three grams off. When I say 587 here, let's... 10, 587. And I need to write all the numbers out. So they're all in order and I'll start here and drill out of here and get three grams out of it. So it matches this. It's pretty cool. We're going to have two light pistons as long as I don't mess up. So I got seven tenths out, seven tenths of a gram, and that's what I did. So I'll drill some more. Bigger piston. Oh, there's no wrist pin in there. 556, Ooh, that should have been 557. 557. Uh, hang on. Oh, they're golden. They're wonderful. All right, so I am running this. Oh, I can't do it, Julie just left. I'm holding this down like that and, and running it around the piston, if you're following me. Holding the, the ring down so that it scrapes along it like that right there. That way, because I all the cleaning and we did a little scraping in there and trying to get these ring lands clean, I wanna make sure there's no burrs. So I'm gonna hold that down in there and spin it back and forth and then, Spin the piston and hold the ring, and it'll kind of knock any burrs off. I just want to make sure that these rings can rotate inside of those ring lands. So that's just another thing we're doing. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Oh, 22. Oh, wait. What was this number? No, what was this number for number one? 26. Yeah, no, we got 23. 23. Okay, 23. So uh, let's make sure that I'm all the way. Yeah, I was. Here, take this. I want to show 21. This is a little case in point right here. See the discoloring, see how the skirting is almost gone. It, well, it's where, yeah. That's uh, not an absolute reason cause for crazy concern. I mean, not on 250,000 miles. Yeah, all right. We're almost there, our numbers go. Well, we're not done yet. I'll show you the numbers in a minute. We're almost done. We're putting the last two and we've already put all of these rods and pistons in and measured protrusion on them. And they don't need to stay in. We just took them right back out. I just wanted to check it. And they're good. Wait, that's not it. Over here. Okay. We got 123. Cylinder number one is 23. The green numbers are where we're at now. The red numbers are where we were. So... We got 123 right there. He's, I don't know if I'm gonna do anything about that because we are gonna surface. So we'll cut, we'll probably cut five thousandths. Go ahead and cut five out, maybe shoot for four. And that'll take that to 27 to 28. And let's say we get 28 there, that'll be 33. So we'll be 28 to 33. Should be our range when we're actually building the engine. And 28 to 33, I'm all the way good with that. That's at least we, well, we've already raised it from where it was. Three thousandths, two thousandths, two thousandths, two. 
we've raised it, but we, I don't know what to say about that one. I honestly might go ahead and grab another bushing and try that one again and do another bushing. See if I can't bring that up a little bit. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. I don't know, but that's it. That's, uh, that's it for tonight. It's freaking late. So we are tomorrow. The agenda is going to be the weight match these rods. Cause I haven't done that yet. And then we'll get ready to get these crankshafts sent the heck off. Let's do it. Yeah.